We are now here today to give you a tour of our design of the Philippine Pavilion. The concept of the design is centered on the various wonders of the Philippines. The exterior itself was inspired by the rice terraces and the mountains of Banao and Fukao. These levels were created using modules shaped to look like boats stacked on top of each other. Both of these elements then worked together to emphasize our concept of utong na loob, one of the main values in Filipino psychology, which we have interpreted as giving back to the generations before us by highlighting our agricultural heritage and also our seafaring heritage. Now for the areas of the pavilion. Upon entering and passing by the lobby, we see the souvenir area flanking our left, while in the front we can see the seating area intended for the audience of those performing on the stage. For the interior, we wanted the forms to be contrasting to the angular elements of the exterior and also highlight fluidity as well as the wonders of the Philippines centered around the water or the sea. For example, with the seating area, it was inspired by the curves and organic shapes of the coral reefs that we have here in the Philippines, while the area by the stage is inspired by waterfalls and will actually have a water feature. On the second floor, we now have the galleries showcasing the art, the sculptures, and other artifacts that the pavilion might be housing. The partitions between the galleries were designed in such a way that when viewed from the top, they would look like ripples in the water. On the third floor, we have a clear view of the entire interior of the pavilion as well as another gallery area for other items being showcased. Here, we now have the open lecture space on the front of the structure. In this space, lecturers, event organizers, and other individuals can have discussions or even low-intensity performances, free from the hustle and bustle of the interior of the pavilion. Throughout the entire structure, we have balconies flanking the sides, which can also be accessed by visitors who would like to walk around the entire pavilion. As mentioned earlier, we wanted to highlight fluidity and curves for the interior, which is why we decided to make the floors on each level unique and organically curved. For the first level, we also included ceiling louvers that add to this theme of fluidity that I just previously mentioned. And as we go down to the stairs, to our right, we can see the kitchen of the restaurant as well as the area for the visitors going to the restaurant. 
And to the left, we have again the souvenir area, which we've put near the exit to encourage visitors to perhaps pick something for their loved ones on their way out. And that is all for our pavilion. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.